Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. For the last few days, we have been working on the concept of average. Yesterday, we solved the problem on, the, uh, on that concept. The problem is still on the blackboard. Here's the problem. We were told that the average score for the boys on the exam was 25. Average score for the girl was 35. We were also told that there are more than twice as many boys as girls. And the question simply was, which of the following could be the overall average? And we were given several different choices. And we were told that more than one, there are more than one correct answers. And we found out that the correct answer for that problem was 26 and 28. Now, if you have not watched that video, day number 72, if you have not watched day number 72, it's important that you watch it. Otherwise, you're not going to get much out of it. Otherwise, you're not going to get much out of it. Make sure you pause this video right away immediately if you have not watched day number 72 and watch it before you go any further because, as I said, otherwise it will be difficult. So we found out that the overall average could be 26 or 28. Where we left off yesterday was the fact that we were given another problem, subsequent problem, a following problem, which simply asked us what exactly needs to be the ratio of boys to girls. We, boys to girls. We, know there are, we know there are more than twice as many boys as girls. There are more than twice as many boys as girls. But what exactly is this ratio? We know there are twice as many boys as girls. But what exactly does the ratio need to be in order for the overall average to be exactly 26,000? We're going to do that today. And if you have not done this problem ahead of time, pause the video and do it yourself right now. And then, then compare your work against the work we do together. Now listen, before we actually do this problem, let's do a simpler version on the problem. We're going to keep this problem in abeyance. Let's keep this in abeyance. And let's do on the problem here very quickly. Here's what's going on. Here are the boys. Here are the girls. A different problem, you understand? I, an exam was given and the boys scored 11, 12 and 13. These were the scores of the boys. And the girls scored 12 and 14. As we can clearly see, as we can clearly see in this class we have three boys and two girls. The ratio of boys to girls here, ratio of boys to girls here is clearly 3 to 2. There is no, there is no doubt about that part. We also know that the average for the boys average for the boys is 12. We also know that the average for the girl is 13. Okay? Are you with me so far? We already know that. How do we know that? Because we made up the problem ourselves. Now I want you to pretend that this thing does not exist. Pretend that we were never told this part. Pretend that it doesn't exist. This does not exist. We are told that, oh, we have to actually figure out the overall average which we did not do. We had three boys with the average of, we had three boys with the average of 11, 11, 11 12, and 13. This, this, this sum would be 36. It would be 3 times 12, because it's 3 times the average, which is 36. And the boys and the girls were 12 and 14, and their average was 13. 12 plus 14 is 6, and it's 26. 26 plus 36 is what I'm getting here for the sum. So if you add 26 and 36, it's going to be... 72, 72 divided by 5 students we have here. How many 5 does 7 have? 7 has 1 5. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 2. Remaining 2 goes and joins the 2 becomes 22. And 22 has, and 22 has, did I make a mistake here? 6 plus 6 is 12, carry, carry 2, carry 12, carry 2, carry 1, carry 1, not 2. It should be 62. It should be 62. I knew something was wrong because the average was coming out a bit too high. Six has six has one five. The remaining one goes and joins the two becomes twelve and twelve has twelve has two fives. Twelve has two fives with the remainder of two, which is which is being divided by five. So it's twelve and two fifths, which is same as twelve point four. So here's our problem. We are told that the overall average in the class was twelve point four. Are you with me? We are told that the overall average in the class is 12.4. We, we are told that the average for the boys is 13. Average for the boys was not 13. Average for the boys was 12. Average for the boys was 12. Because the boys scored 11, 12, 13. The average is 12. Average for the girls is 13 because it's 12 and 14. 
the number that falls between 12 and 14 is 13. So this is the average for the girls. This is the average for the boys. So we have, so here's the problem. It's a brand new problem. We do not have any of this information. All of this information is gone. All of this information is gone. Here's what we are told. We are told that we have a class. An exam was given. In the, an exam was given. It turns out that the average score for the boys is 12. We are told that the average score for the girl is 13. We are also told that the overall average was 12.4. The question is, what's the ratio of boys to girls in this class? What's the ratio of boys to girls? Of course, we know the answer. We know there are three boys and two girls. We know the answer because we created the problem. But let's pretend that you don't know that information right now. Delete your memory. Erase it. You understand? How do we go about doing it? Do you have any idea? How do we go about doing it? This thing has to do with this thing has to do with what is known as weighted average. This overall average is the weighted average. This overall average is the weighted average. Our job is to find the weights of the boys and the girls. And we're going to do it right here. We're going to do it right here. Watch what happens. We know the average score for the boys is 12. Average score for the boys is 12. Let's pretend that there are Let's pretend that the weights that we're going to assign to boys is W, W for the weight. And the average score for the girls is 13, and we're going to assign it a weight of 1. We're going to assign it a weight of 1. A weight of 1 tells us, for example, weight of 1 tells us that for every one girl, this is what it says here, the way we set it up here, what this says is that for every one girl, we have W boys. When we solve for W, and when we find the value of W, what it will tell us is that for every one girl, how many boys we have. So after we finish doing the problems, I need the room. I need a lot of room. Let's, let's, let's not keep this all on the blackboard, because otherwise we won't get anywhere. The problem is right here. For example, after we do the work, and if it turns out that W is uh, 3 7th, if it turns out that W is 3 7th, what it will tell us is that for, three bo for every three boys, we have seven girls. Because remember, W here, W here is the is the weight. How many boys we have for every one girl? How many boys we have for every one girl? So W is how many boys do we have for every one girl? So one girl, whatever the W is, this is the ratio. And if the ratio turns out to be three seventh, three seventh over one is same as three over seven. That will tell us that for every three girls we have seven boys. If W turns out to be, if W turns out to be four thirds, that means that there are for every for every four boys, there are three girls. Of course, we know what the W should be. We know that W in this case, we know that in this problem, in this problem, before we finish doing it, we know that W better be three to two, because that's what we had. We had three boys and two girls. That's what we are solving for. We already know what the answer should be. The answer should be three over two. Let's finish it up here. So we're going to need the room here. Overall average is 12.4. So, and then what's what do we divide at the bottom? How many how many total number of students we have? We have one girl and W boys. For every one girl, we have W boys. W is the weight. And overall average we are told is 12.4. 12, 12.4. Let's do it up here. Twelve point four. We're going, to, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by w plus 1, w plus 1, so we end up with 12.4 times w plus 1 equals 12w plus 13 times 1, which is just 13. Open the parentheses, we get 12.4w plus 12.4, 12.4 times 1 equals 12w plus 13. Subtract 12w from both sides, we find that 0.4w equals, bring the 12w here, it becomes 12w minus 12, 12.4w minus 12w is going to give us 0.4w, bring the 12.4 over there, 13 minus 12.4 is going to give us 0.6, which is same as 4w equals 6, which means w equals 6 over 4, which is 3 to 2, what do you know, that's exactly what we claimed. That is exactly the weights we had. In this class, the weight of the boy is 3 over 2. For every one girl, what this says is that for every one girl we have one and a half boys. 
for every one girl we have one and a half boys because we have two girls therefore there are three boys that's what that is and that's what we need to do here in order for the overall average to be 26 the question is what does the ratio need to be so let's do it together give me one second here but like I said this is a continuation of yesterday's problem you have to watch yesterday's problem now that we know how to do it the rest is very simple very straightforward so we are told that the average for the boys average for the boys we were told is 25 average for the girl is 35 overall average overall average is 26 the question is in order for the overall average to be 26 what exactly needs to be the ratio of boys to girl if the overall average is exactly 26 and then we have to do it for 28 so let's do it so we want overall average to be 26 the average for the boys is 25 we're going to pretend there are W W boys, W for the weight again, for every one girl. And the girl is going to score 35. And therefore the total number of people in this school we have is, for every, for every one girl, we have W boys. Same as before. Rest is very simple, the rest is downhill. Multiply both sides by W plus 1. We end up with 26 times W plus 1 equals 25W plus 35. Open this thing, we get 26W plus 26 equals 25W plus 35 25W and 26W bring the 25W here and we are done W equals 35 minus 26 W equals 35 35 minus 26 which is 9 voila W equals 9 what this tells us is that in order for the overall average to be 26 the ratio of boys to girls ratio of boys to girls needs to be 9 to 1 needs to be 9 to 1 when the ratio is 9 to 1 when the ratio is 9 to 1 we will find that the overall average in the class will be exactly 26 points given the fact that the boys scored 25 points and the girls scored 35 points and now we're going to verify our answer we're going to take a couple of seconds and we're going to verify it I'm going to show you actually how to verify it just give me one second okay Where can we verify it? Let's do, let's do verification right here. So what we're claiming is that there are nine boys and their average is 25. For every one girl and her average is 35. And we have nine boys and one girl. Nine times 25, but well we know 10 times 25 is 250. 10 times 25 is 250, 9 times 25 is got to be 250 minus 25 which is 225. 225 plus 35, 225 plus 35 is 0, carry 1, 6, oh there you go, 260. 260 divided by, 260 divided by 10. This 260 is divided by 10 and 260 divided by 10 is exactly 26, 26 overall average. 9 boys scoring 25 on average, 1 girl scoring 35 on average, we have 9 plus 1, 10 people. This adds up to 260, 260 divided by 10 is exactly 26, which is exactly what it is, which means this ratio is correct, which means W equals 9, and that is correct. Now what I want you to do is pause this video at this point, and do this for yourself for 28. Tell me what the ratio needs to be, and once you find the answer, I want you to verify that answer. Okay, let's do it right now together. Let's do it together. Overall average needs to be 28. Overall average needs to be 28. Boys average is 25. We're going to assign a weight of W to the boys. Girls average is 35. We're going to have one girl for every 12, 12, 12 W, uh, 12 boys, uh, uh, not 12 boys, W boys, W for the weight. And therefore the total number of students we have is for every one girl we have 12, uh, for every one girl we have W boys. I don't know where 12 is coming from. That's it. That equation does not change. The rest is going to be straightforward. It's going to be 20, 28 here. That's all. It's going to be 28 here. Nothing changes. This part is going to stay the same. And we're going to end up with 28W plus 28 equals 25W plus 35. That's not going to change. When we bring 25W to this side, it's 28W minus 25. It's going to be 3W. It's going to be 3W equals 35 minus 28, which is... 
which is 7 and therefore w equals 7 over 3. Now this time is very different. This time we are claiming is that we are claiming is that we are claiming that in order for the average to be 28, here's what we are claiming. We are claiming that in order for the overall average to be exactly 28, the ratio of boys to girls needs to be I have no I have no room needs to be 7 over 3 for every 7 boys for every 7 boys we need 3 girls if 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 it happens that the ratio in the class is exactly that we have 7 boys for every 3 girls and the boys on average score 25 and the girls on average score 35 then it will turn out that the overall score Overall, overall average in this in this class would be exactly 28 point. Let's verify, shall we? Let's verify. Where can we verify? Let's verify right here. So now we are not doing 26. We are doing 28. We are doing 28. So we are claiming that we have seven boys. Seven boys with the average of 25. Three girls with the average of 35. 7 boys, 3 girls, we have a total of 10 students, 7 times 25, how much is 7 times 25, how the hell do I know, I know 8 times 25, that I do know, 8 times 25, if I have, if I have 8 quarters, that's exactly $2, so 7 times 25, it's got to be $1.75, 175, 175, 3 times 35, 3 times 35 is how much, well, that's very straightforward, 3 times, 3 times 30 is, 90. It's going to be 15 more than 90. 105. 3 times 35 or 35 times 3. 35 times 3 is 15. Carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Two hundred eighty. You see that? We find 280. We divide that by 10. Again, 280 divided by 10, it gives us the overall average of 28, which is what we've been claiming. So this ratio is also correct. The question was very simple, very straightforward. The question was, what does the ratio need to be for boys to girls in order for the overall average in the class to be exactly 28 if the boys on average score 25 and girls on average score 35? And the answer is, we need 7 boys for every 3 girls. Well, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow and day after tomorrow, we're going to do another pair, exactly like this one, another pair for some more practice. Okay? Bye now.